Hello, welcome to this video for the Mercedes CLA 220 CDI Sport Saloon. It's the automatic, it's a 2.1 turbo diesel. Uh, this is the March registered 2014 reg. As you can see, it's a very pretty looking vehicle in the uh, bright white uh, with the alloy wheels, with the black alloy wheels. Okay, so as you can see, it's got the privacy glass pack. Uh, so the rear windows are dark uh, it's also got the uh, rear boot spoiler as you can see there and it's also got the gloss plaque roof and the gloss plaque alloy wheels which are the 18 inch alloy wheels hey, uh, red brake calipers as well red brake calipers it's got the reverse parking sensors which are the better ones which go right around the sides there as you can see right around the side this is a uh, three former keepers on the logbook we we'll start off on the bodywork. Uh, let's start off this corner. So, as you can see, very clean. Obviously white, very forgiving. Uh, unlike black, you can see all the little slight scratches in black paintwork. So it's very hard to look after. Uh, but white, as you can see, it's got a nice shine to it. It's nice and glossy uh, and very easy to get to take care of. So it's a gloss black roof, uh, I believe. I'm not sure if that's a painted black roof or vinyl. It might be vinyl. I believe it's vinyl that one so it's got a vinyl black roof uh, paintwork is good obviously you can't see uh, any scratches at all because it's white uh, there's no dents anyway can't see any dents as you can see there's no tar spots that's nice and clean backs of the wing mirrors are very clean there's no cracks in the uh, indicators there at all all the black plastic is there as well nothing's been broken it's also got the D-chrome black pack, so the uh, window surrounds, as you can see, are, um, let me just uh, reply to this one, right, so the window surrounds are uh, gloss black, as you can see. Front screen's in good condition, that has got some very, very minor uh, light surface, it's very small, some little pin ones, they're not cracked, just the surface chips, just there. Just a few there to take note off. It's got the uh, rain and light sensor up there. That wing's very good condition, as you can see. All the alloy wheels are like brand new. I think they have recently been refurbished as well. Uh, all brake discs are like new as well. So it's like it's had four brand new brake discs uh, and pads, and it's got the four recently refurbished uh, alloy wheels in gloss black, the 18s. Uh, front parking sensors as well, which is also the one that goes right round. Uh, it's got the normal headlights as you can see you can see these Benz logo there so it's the normal headlights on this one so cheaper to replace if a bulb goes uh, the black pipe like the black grill there so that's all been blacked out it's also had the black badge as well there so that badge is black as well so it makes it look uh, very uh, modern should we say bumpers in very good condition there's no scuffs on the edges uh, there's no chips on the paintwork uh, the bonnet's good as well, as you can see, there's nothing out of the ordinary at all. The lines are all nice as well, as you can see. So, that headlight's nice and clear, no yellowing there. That wing's good, that alloy wheel, let's say, and the brake disc and pads are brand new, well, virtually as new. No tar spots on the bottom of that door edge of that wing mirror very good as you can see original Mercedes windscreen with the logo there so it is the original Mercedes windscreen uh, this side there's no there's no little chips or cracks at anything on this side uh, front of the roof's very clean as you can see the glass is clean there's no scratches on the glass etc and so is the uh, A pillar there as well that's all nice and glossy no scratches and same on the uh, window surrounds there they're all nice and immaculate no scratches or scuffs on those down them doors there's no dents or anything like that and watermarks here just brush those off just watermarks uh, so that's all nice and clean that alloy wheel as you can see immaculate uh, it's got really good tires on the bike as well really good tires on the bike uh, one of the fronts is a little bit low I think that's down to about three three and a half mil uh, and that's really it so the rest are all five or six mil black uh, Mercedes badge as well black boot spoiler 
and then we're back to where we started okay so the outside's covered let's look inside the boot the boot is tidy as you can see it's tidy there's no spare wheel with these so it's just got the uh, space for a spare wheel should we say uh, has it got a split fold? Oh it has, it's got the fold down rear seats. So this has got the split fold rear seats, this one. Uh, and then up here it's just normal and you just pull this down to close it. Then the bike, let's look at the bike. As you can see, it's the black leather with the white stitching. Uh, electric rear windows, the fitted car mat set as well. Uh, And you've got all this it's a it is got three seat belts by the way three seat belts and three headrests and it has got the child isofix anchoring points as well that's all nice and clean let's go to this side as you can see it's all nice and clean there's no nothing out of the ordinary at all all the speaker grills are there all the door shuts are clean etc doesn't smell of smoke no nope, doesn't smell of dogs either so no doggy smells and no smoke smells all the door shuts are all nice and clean as you can see there's no stains on the seats anywhere all nice and clean that front door all nice and clean as you can see the door shuts are immaculate all bright white it's got the illuminated kick plates the mercedes benz illuminated kick plates so they'll light up uh, all that's nice and clean front seats immaculate I think both of the front seats are immaculate to be fair uh, very good and uh, obviously the half leather and half cloth it's got the passenger side height adjustment as well which is very good so that's the height adjustment the front height and the rear height as well so it's got a double height adjustment go to the uh, driver's door here that's all nice and clean Four electric windows, electric wing mirrors, central locking button, uh, and the automatic release boot release switch there as well. All those door shuts, nice and clean. Illuminated uh, kick plate. All that door shuts, nice and clean. And the driver's seat is in very good condition. Absolutely, hardly anywhere on that bolster at all. That's very good. Right, just going to get in this car. Just put the seat back. So I put it forward to take the pictures. Put the seat back, let's close these windows. So you can't hear the jet washer in the background. Right, okay, so inside. So these have a, what we call a sat-nav ready system. So the sat-nav there, it's not uh, illuminated. That means it's there, but it's an upgrade. So it's an upgrade called the Becker Map Pilot, which needs to be upgraded. So it says here, there's no navigation module connected to this vehicle. So that's how all these Mercedes are. So Mercedes like to, how do I say, rip people off <laughs> in the fashion when they're new. They say it's there, you have to buy a module, and it costs you £500 if you want the sat-nav. So not many people opted for that, and they just use their mobile phones, because obviously on your mobile phone, you've got updated roadworks, etc., but not on these map pilot systems. So personally, I would use a uh, mobile phone with a Google Maps, and that's your best option. Uh, some people like to use that one called Waze, which is a good one as well. Uh, so yeah, updated, definitely updated, because the world's changing, uh, like the roads. There's new roads being built all the time. Right, okay, so you've got your CD slot as well, CD slot there, so it's got a CD player, uh, your parking sensors uh, on and off, your eco stop start mode, uh, your sport mode, uh, eco mode and your manual mode as well for the gearbox. Dual zone climate control, so you've got your left and right uh, eater settings, temperature settings in here, you've got a 12 volt and a coin tray. So not an ashtray, it's a coin tray. And this is your storage bin and that's nice in working condition because many of these break because somebody pushes it that hard, it breaks it and snaps it, so that's working perfectly. So don't start banging it and pushing on it and ramming things in, that's when they start breaking. Uh, okay, the joystick there for the computer, as you can see, so you've got little bits like system, if you look at system, you've got there, you've got your, your um, clock, uh, so you can go down to uh, display, you can have that off if you want to. Let's switch it back on again. Uh, full screen, you've got this as well, your miles per gallon. Uh, graph should we say so uh, for your fuel economy so you can use that as well so in here armrest lift that up and you've got the USB port down there it's a bit dark you can't see it but there's a USB port in there for your music uh, free air vents in the center console there uh, some of this fancy like silver like carbon effect uh, trim 
should we say, uh, steering wheel. So it's got the sport steering wheel. You can see it's got the sport shape to it and it's got the uh, lever stitched there, cross stitched. And you've got your paddle shifters there, your puss up and down, uh, your computer joystick control, and you've got your uh, volume control voice command as well. So that's all there. The mileage today, 86,413. Uh, no warning signs on the dashboard at all. So that's all good. Uh, and then what have we got? Uh, we are waiting for the services to print out from the dealers. So we have got the service history. We've got the V5 here as well. So the V5 says it's had three former keepers. Let's see how long this chap's had it. So this chap has had the vehicle. Oh, not long. This chap's not had it long. Okay. So and then we've got some service uh, document things here so we know we're just waiting for the dealer to give us the uh, rundown of it so this is the service schedule there's one there from uh, Normans is it hang on Normos Motors Limited which is at 67,000 miles it's done 86 now so that was a well probably two years ago that uh, yes it was two years ago 2020 so it's got that so we're just waiting for the rest of the service history and obviously I'll update that on the advert as well but the locking wheel that's there as well and a 12 volt plug-in uh, adapter uh why what else have we got let's go under the bonnet so under the bonnet the bonnet pull on these are under here so right underneath here let's pull that let's take you under the bonnet have a quick look at that and then we're done see if i can do this with one hand uh, there we go i can so that's that that's that so oh it looks immaculate under here so look at that very nice as you can see very nice and clean uh, so that's the plastic cover for the engine it's a four cylinder 2.1 turbo diesel engine so it's got a single turbo charger uh, and that's pretty much all I can see it's HPI clear this vehicle so it's not been involved in an insurance claim or accident so it's all HPI clear everything looks uh, original under here there's no plastic bolts or clips missing should I say everything seems to be in place nothing out of the ordinary at all so very very good looking tidy car up here as well the bonnet looks all original no signs of any foul play very good okay so i'm just going to walk around the vehicle once more and then that is it so uh, if you have a part exchange please let us know the reg number of mileage and we will do our best to get you the best price we can based on the live auto trader data uh, finance, we are FCA registered, licensed credit brokers. This vehicle can be financed up to five years, uh, possibly zero deposit as well on this one. It's less than 100,000 miles, so zero deposit is possible as well. So hope you enjoyed the uh, video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call us, ring us, uh, message us, um, email us, whichever. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.